weather conditions in Baikonur looking for this launch? Well, the most recent weather readings at the Baikonur Cosodrome indicate we've got extremely clear skies, uh, a liftoff temperature range around 57 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 14 degrees Celsius. The ground winds are out of the south, southeast at 4 to 8 meters per second, and the upper level winds are within limits for proton at all altitudes. So tonight's weather conditions are ideal, and we are go for launch. All right, that is what we like to hear. And now John is going to take us through the liftoff of Astra 2E aboard an ILS proton. John, over to you. As you can see, it is a beautiful night out there, very clear. Um, indicate uh, from the guys that are uh, outside that they can see the stars, so we should have a good view of uh, the vehicle heading down range. About T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. Ignition start. And as you can hear from that rumble, we have liftoff. Liftoff of an ILS Proton rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan with the Astra 2E satellite on board. Now, about 10 seconds after liftoff, the rocket does do a roll maneuver and will align the launch pad azimuth with the parking orbit azimuth and it's soon going to experience maximum dynamic pressure. Now this is the maximum aerodynamic load on the vehicle and for Proton it corresponds to about Mach 1.6 and occurs about one minute and two seconds after liftoff. Now when conditions are right, a condensation cloud will form around the Proton as the vehicle passes through the sound barrier just prior to max Q. Now, this leaves an annular cloud in its wake and that is visible when light lighting permits. Now this is normal, not smoke, but rather moisture from the atmosphere that condenses into tiny water droplets due to the aerodynamic shock wave created by Proton. Now keep an eye on Proton, we will see if we can observe this atmospheric reaction. There must have been a cloud there as the vehicle punched through it. Now, everything does seem to be proceeding nominally as it heads uh, across the Cosodrome in a northeasterly direction with a flight azimuth of approximately 62.1 degrees. About a minute and 20 seconds, we pass through max Q. Proton shining like a bright light in the sky. About a minute and 30 seconds since liftoff. Now we're coming up on the first stage separation from the second stage, and that's set to occur at two minutes into the flight. Now watch for the halo effect as the second stage engines ignite prior to the separation from the first stage. Stage one, two, seven should occur in about 10 seconds. And we have confirmation of a good separation between the first and second stages. And having trouble seeing through the, uh, the clouds there. Waiting for confirmation of a signal of ignition of all the uh, second stage engines. But uh, you can see the, uh, the bright light of the vehicle as it heads down range. Now the second stage engines will burn for a total of about 3 minutes and 27 seconds. Uh, still waiting for confirmation, but uh, visually we can see that uh, there is a uh, the second stage is firing. 